sunshine. We're outside here at 87 George. I'm with Mike Henley and Don Dobson from the BMW Motorcycle Club of uh, Ottawa. Mike is the director. Don apparently is the vice president. Or at least he claims to be. Morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Yeah. Yeah, morning. <laughs> Going for controls. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's motorcycle season. I'm very happy for everyone who has motorcycles because it's time to get out there. Absolutely. It's been four or five months and we've been hibernating and now we're back. Yeah. So we want people to know we're back on the road. It was very funny uh, in March when we had that nice warm stretch there. All of a sudden, <laughs> that's right. There they were. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we were out on so the were road. Were you out oh, too? Absolutely. Yeah, why wouldn't you, right? You yeah. wanted this season to be as long as possible, but you also want uh, motorcycle riders, drivers of every other vehicle on the road to be aware. Exactly. I, I don't think the drivers were off the roads for four or five months. I don't think that when we come back, they realize that we're back. So we want drivers to really look for us on the roads and expect us to be at intersections, yeah. expect us to be in their blind spots, that kind of thing. It seems to me, guys, it's much like uh, the first snow, you know, when we, we figure out, oh yeah, it's different driving conditions. Well, there are different con uh, driving conditions in the springtime when the nice weather arrives too, because there's other types of vehicles and not just motorcycles on the road, right? Exactly. I mean, you can include bicycles with yeah. this as well. Scooters. And scooters. I mean, we want to focus as well on the scooters and the sport bikes out there yeah. who may have a smaller profile. We've got to make sure we watch out for those and look yeah. for those people as even, well. Even uh, other people like on skateboards and stuff like that, everybody's out there. Well, you need a list. When you go drive, you say, whoa, who might be on the road? Yeah. And it's go through your list. For 110 years, people have known that if you don't expect something to be there, yeah. you'll probably not see it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, uh, with that in mind, you've got a, a, an awareness day coming up. What, on the 28th, is it? That's right. The 28th, yeah. rain date's the 29th. We want to get as many people out as we can, so yeah. we put a rain date as 29th. The plan is, if you've got a motorcycle, a scooter, a sport bike, a cruiser, a dual sport bike of any sort, Get out on the road that day. If you've got errands to do, do it on your motorcycle. Right. We want as many motorcycles in the Ottawa as well as the Gatineau region um, to ensure that riders are, or drivers are aware that the riders are back. Yeah, far too often we hear, and it's happened to me, and I know it's happened to probably everyone here today who brought their bikes down. You've been cut off at a corner, you've been cut off somewhere, or not uh, you know, recognized on the road by somebody. And it's just a matter of circumstance at the time, but it's awful dangerous. That's right, and even the, the most dangerous place for us are in, is, is intersections, yeah. especially people who are left turners, and that is, we are going straight, they are turning left in front of us, that's the most dangerous situation. So if you're a driver and you're coming to an intersection and there's a motorcycle coming against you, yeah. take that extra few seconds, look twice, you can save a life, yeah. and make sure that you gauge that speed. Yeah, just be aware, folks, because you know uh, they're, they're smaller vehicles and sometimes they're not in their sight line. That being said, it's up to motorcycle riders, up to us, uh, Don, to wear bright color, colored clothing for one, which you have on. Right. But it's also part of our training as motorcycle riders is uh, we're, we're positioning ourselves to, to not be in the blind spot of drivers, right? Right. Uh, the, where, you, where you put yourself in an intersection, make yourself visible. There, there are ways to, to do that, and training courses help you with that. Exactly. Right? Defensive driving is the responsibility of the driver, or in our case, the rider. Yeah and you're the only one who's looking out for your skin. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and I think the, you know, the other thing to focus on, as you mentioned, is the training. There are a lot of uh, training courses offered in the region. Yeah. And, you know, we don't ride for four or five months a year. We're a new rider when we start the season. That's right. It's important as riders that we take those courses yeah. and we get better at our skill. Exactly, I saw some, uh, some of the boys out on uh, uh, March Road. Uh, on Sunday, yes, taking their course exactly. Yeah. Well, you can come up to Calabogie on May the 28th and do the Advanced Rider Training School and learn how to on the track. corner off the track. Ooh. We've been doing we've been doing this for five years okay. now. Is that right? That yeah. sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, it is a lot. Of fun. Listen, the 28th. If you want more information, can they ta contact your club? Because all the, it, it's not just BMW guys, right? Right. We've got uh, the support of the Triumph Club. We've got a support of the dealers in the region, as well as the Canada Safety Council. Yeah. Uh, the national BMW clubs as well. It's not a BMW only no, event. Everybody's involved. Exactly. So RiderAwarenessDay.ca is our website. Okay, we've, good. We've got a link there to our Facebook event page. And we ask people to go to that page, comment, let us know that you're going to run. Mm. Excellent. Thanks for coming by, fellas. Thank you so Have much. Thanks for uh, riding season. Will Appreciate do. it. You look great, too. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. Look at these beautiful bikes over here. Did you see the trains inside, fellas? Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah the train expo is coming up.